So today we'll be showing you the alcohol transfer process. We'll be using um, Purell hand sanitizer to transfer an image to this envelope. And I suggest using something thick, it could be cardboard. Here we're using a tile, basically just to separate the piece of paper that you're transferring your images on um, from the other ones because the hand sanitizer is going to leak through the paper and you don't want the other sides to be affected. So I have my images printed to um, DOS transfer film so that's how I will be transferring these images today. So you'll take the Purell and you'll put a just like one little squirt of it on your finger and then you'll rub it onto the surface of your paper and um, make sure that it's like even across and make sure that you don't use too much or your image will end up getting really muddy and just start running. So you want it to be enough to grab your ink off the paper but not too much to make it flow. And then make sure that you have the rough side, which is the side you printed on, face down so that the ink can successfully transfer to your surface. And I suggest using your finger and lightly um, press down on the transfer sheet. If you press too hard, it can make your image smudge and smear. So sometimes I like to take um, like a something like a credit card and just kind of lightly smooth it across. Um, if you don't have that um, accessible, you can use your fingers. Just be very careful. And then um, after about a minute, um, you can start pulling on the edge. See if the ink is sticking to the surface. If it isn't, um, then you can let it sit a little bit. And if you see there, um, something. sometimes uh, this transfer uh, process isn't perfect. So it, the ink started to tear there where some of it was sticking to the surface and other parts wasn't. So you see we lost like a piece of his face and part of the flowers. Um, sometimes it takes a few tries to finally get your consistency right with the Purell. So this is how this one turned out. We're going to try it um, on the other side of the envelope and see if we can get it to turn out a bit better. So here we are, we're going to try it again. Um, this time we're going to double check that we have the um, Purell, that we have spread it out evenly and um, consistent, consistently enough that the image will be able to stick um, almost perfectly. So here we're holding down the, the corners of the image, making sure that the print has made full contact with the Purell onto the paper. And you really don't need to rub the image very much with this transfer process. Um, a lot of it's going to happen just with um, the ink being placed into the chemical. And then something I forgot to mention earlier is why um, I use Purell. Um, it doesn't have like any of the added like scents to make it smell like flowers. So there really isn't any weird type of chemical that isn't going to let the transfer process work. So um, definitely if you're looking for hand sanitizer, go with the Purell. That's what I use. You might get different results if you try something else. So here we are peeling up the sheet and ta-da, the image pretty much stayed to the paper. So that was a pretty successful transfer. So yeah, um, when you are printing, make sure that you print enough copies because there's probably going to be mistakes. There's going to be some mess ups. And here's the finished product. Um, this is going to dry for a few minutes and then it'll be done.